that's the turbine voltage, and that's through the load. Now what I did is I added a little rheostat here, so I can adjust the cutout. That's approximately 50 volts or so. So the turbine should spin up to 50 volts, and then it'll cut in to the 60 ohm load. What we're looking for is a place where it'll hold that voltage. And try, try 50, 60. So this is kind of like an adjustable battery bank. It's about 75, 80 volts. It's almost 60 watts. This is a 5K potentiometer. Bridge rectifiers. 60 ohm load. So I could dissipate 60 watts in that. And I've got that just to smooth the, um, or no, that's an arc suppressant capacitor. And that is a little capacitor, electrolytic, just to keep the uh, relay from chattering. And I use that capacitor right there just to smooth the output voltage. We can turn this all the way down to a cut in of five, six volts. Basically stalls the turbine. So that's the output. So four volts squared divided by 60 ohms is the watts. It's not a lot of wattage. What we want to do is let that turbine spin up. There we go, we're going to let it spin up. So just unloaded volts right here. So it's going through 100 RPM. I'll go out and show you what it's doing to the turbine.